Lawmakers will discuss ways to improve the way police do their jobs and help people who are struggling with mental health mm. emergencies. Gabrielle Harmon is live to tell us about two pieces of legislation under consideration today. Gabrielle. Good morning. Two hot topics will be discussed today by the House Public Safety Committee. Those two topics being the Marcus Alert as well as the Civilian Review Board. The Marcus Alert, if it is passed, would require every locality to establish a Marcus Alert system that uses community care teams. The community care teams would be made up of mental health providers, working with registered peer recovery specialists and police officers. The mental health providers would be leading the team to help in stabilizing individuals who are in a crisis. This alert would be put in place when a call to 911 is made about a mental health crisis and would direct that call to the uh, right services and the community care teams. Another bill, the Civilian Review Board, would require that on or before July 1st of 2021, that localities establish law enforcement civilian review panels. This bill would require the panels to help with accountability and transparency of local police. Due to both bills having some changes uh, from their original plan, the family of Marcus David Peters, who uh, the Marcus Alert is named after, have released a statement. In part, it reads, quote, because of these severe deficiencies in both bills, our family is publicly declaring that we cannot in good conscience support either the McPike mental health bill or the Hashmi bill for civilian review boards. We refuse to declare false victories when it is clear that no victories have been won, end quote. We'll be sure to make uh, sure to put that full statement on our website as well as updating on these two bills and other bills going before House committees today. Working for you, Gabrielle Harmon, CBS 6 News.